Mexico City is in the midst of crises. It's nearly out of water, believe it or not, and the city itself is sinking. I'll explain. It all comes down to a bad foundation, a city built on water. Tenochtitlan, the Aztec capital, sat in the middle of a massive lake. After defeating the Aztecs, Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés began to fight nature, beginning the draining of a lake to build his own city. A historical mistake. Now 500 years later, the city is sinking at around 20 inches every year. This is El Ángel de la Independencia. It was dedicated back in 1910. It sits right in the middle of Mexico City's busiest street, Paseo de la Reforma. It's like a roundabout, a glorieta. What's interesting, when it was dedicated back in 1910, this statue's base was at the same level as this avenue. Now it takes 22 steps to reach the base. That's what a little over a century of sinking will do. The city could have up to 65 feet left to sink. Scientists believe this subsidence is irreversible. These heavy buildings and a population of over 20 million and growing are compacting the soil. And despite receiving more rainfall than London, that rainwater won't help reinflate the aquifer since there is no major wastewater recycling. Mexico City is a city of concrete. There's just not enough green spaces where rainwater can drain down and try and recharge the aquifer. The city is built on both a clay lake bed and volcanic rock, so different parts are sinking at different rates, which is a disaster when you consider infrastructure like pipes that are barely maintained in the best of circumstances. Because of decades of neglect, corruption, and the fact is that the city's subsiding so much, the estimates are that 40% of all potable water here in Mexico City goes to waste, just leaks away, never to be used. Mexico City imports an estimated over a third of its water from faraway reservoirs, an incredible feat of hydroengineering as the city sits a mile and a half above sea level in elevation. The rest still comes from its underground aquifer, but millions aren't able to rely simply on turning on the tap. There are parts of Mexico City now where you turn on the tap and no water comes out. That's in the part of the city, though, that isn't as affluent, for instance, as right here in Roma. More and more residents are capturing rainwater themselves on rooftop cisterns, but that's a drop in the bucket for the largest city in North America that's losing its centuries-old war with water.